Hi everybody, I'm Rick Beato. Today's Everything Music, we're gonna talk about the music of Danny Elfman, in particular, the theme to Batman from the 1989 movie starring Michael Keaton. It's coming up next. <laughs> I'd like to begin by playing a quick mock-up I did of the piece. What I want you to notice is the melodic material that's being used because there's actually only five notes. And here are the five notes to listen for. B, C sharp, D, G, and then F sharp. Now, sometimes the B hold throughout the chords but this keeps happening over and over from instrument to instrument and it's really mainly about the way it's orchestrated so let's check it out Just those five notes. C-sharp major chord. What's interesting about this theme is that there's really those five notes and nothing else, literally not one note outside of those five that just keep repeating and layering itself over and over, that same, same succession of notes. But the way it's layered is what's really interesting. So it begins with the French horns that start the piece. And then next come in the bassoons with the horns. When the celeste enters, it enters with the same grouping of notes, except it descends and it goes G, F sharp, D, B, which is essentially a B minor arpeggio with the flat six added to it. Or you could think of it as a G major seven arpeggio built off the third, but it's really a B minor sound. And that's kind of the entire theme to this, is a series of these minor chords with the flat six. That is how the melodic material is built, as I will show you. Let's listen again to it. So you have that G major sound in there, resolving down to a B minor sound. The celeste enters, along with the strings. Bass drum. is that the modulation that happens that goes from B minor to C sharp major, your ear is constantly hearing this G, F sharp, and then you hear the F natural or the E sharp from the C sharp major. So here's your B minor chord. And then you hear the the lift, well the lift happens because the G resolves up to G sharp. So you have two things going on here. You have the F sharp resolves down to F or E sharp and the G 
resolves upward to G sharp. Okay, that's what gives it this really grandiose feeling. Let's listen to the strings by themselves. It starts out with a B in the basses. And then the bass splits into a fifth there between B and F sharp. So it's recycling the same notes. Right down to this big C sharp major chord. So then the piece picks up the tempo and continues on through a series of modulations using the same thematic material, like this. So it's moving along in B minor. Da 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 da. Same, same note. With the B, C sharp, D, G, F sharp, and it continues on to the next, next modulation. So we're still in B minor, and then now we're in A minor, right? So from the A minor it goes, da 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 da, the same thing, but in A minor, same theme, the, using that A minor with the flat six in it, right? So it starts on A, B, C, and then F, which is the flat six, down to A minor, to, uh, to the E. Okay, so it goes through A minor then. Then it resolves to G minor. And it, and it walks up in the bass when it hits G minor to. Da, 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 right? And then it comes down that flat sixth, E flat, da da, to D, B flat, G, right? And then we're in F sharp minor, da 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 da. So the F sharp minor, it's really interesting because to modulate down a half step. So we've, we've gone through a series of keys. We went from B minor to A minor to G minor to F sharp minor, and then it goes from F sharp minor down to D minor. So, same, same. It finishes out these series of modulations back in G minor. Up, to, there's your E flat. Da, 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 da. And then a quick Modulation, so you've got G, A, B flat, E flat, goes to E flat major to G minor to A major, okay? Once it hits A major, what's nice about that voice lead, you've got E flat major, all you have to do is drop the E flat down a half step to, to make it a G minor, and then the G moves up to A, and the D moves down to C sharp, D up to E, G to A and D down to C sharp. So E flat major, G minor, A major. And then it does. Da, 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 da. So then it goes. You're on A, you're in A major. C sharp, D, E, and then A, B, C sharp, and then G. It's that simple. There's really such little melodic information. It's just used in so many different ways that it makes it really interesting. But essentially, you're just reiterating this theme of, of a uh, root to the ninth or the second, third to the flat sixth, back to the fifth. You're, you're reinterpreting that in a series of different keys, which gives it its melodic interest. I'd like to do more of Danny Elfman's music. I'm not sure that I can get through with it by playing this much of the music from the movie, but we'll see what happens here. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, you can go to my website at www.rickbeato.com and also check out the Beato Academy of Music. I've got two courses on there advanced harmonic concepts, and mastering modes of the major scale. Thanks for watching.